Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and check out Apollo's save tool. Um, I've already got it installed. I went ahead and created another account just for the video, named it Stretch Echo. But let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Go ahead and launch the Apollo save tool. Give it a few moments here just to load up. Okay, PS4 9.00 save patches applied. And it should bring us right into the main menu. There we go. So once we're in, we do have a full or a few options here. We have our trophy options. Um, it just displays the trophies that you do have. Currently, this account is new, so it doesn't have any trophies. We can check it out later once we do launch a game. Uh, USB saves. We won't be getting into that right now. Um, but we will later and the hard drive saves it's a new account so there's no hard drive saves the online database will be getting into that uh, user tools will need that to activate this account because it's a, a new account that isn't activated and then you got your settings and then you're about so let's go ahead and jump into user tools go ahead and select activate ps4 account and you can see at the bottom here echo stretch it's already activated um, but if we go up to our current one that we just created, the 00, zero etc., it's not activated. So we can go ahead and select it. And it does do an auto-generated account ID. So you're not able to actually manually put in your account ID. So we'll go ahead and just select it. And it does it pretty quick. Uh, it does say a system reboot might be required. But I find if you just go ahead and close out of the application, go ahead and just go up to close application, and then go ahead and relaunch the application. Then it should all come up with no issues and you should have your new account ID. So if we go over to our user tools, go into activate PS4 accounts, you can see that we do have a new user account which is 6F, 6C, etc. So we're good to go. So we'll go ahead and back out of there. And we're going to start off with uh, the online database. Now we do have a few games here. At the time of the video, I did submit the Minecraft Save Worlds, um, but they're not here yet. I was hoping for them, but uh, we can go ahead and just use Ghost of Tsushima, which is fine. Um, if you take a look at the user or the game ID, it's CUSA11456. Go ahead and hit our PlayStation button you can see that the Ghost of Tsushima we have is 11456. So if we go ahead and launch it, uh, we can go ahead and download it. So you can see which cheats are applied to the actual save before you go ahead and download it. But once you do, go ahead and just select it and then download to USB 0. Just make sure your USB is plugged in. And it doesn't take long to download. Okay, so now that it is downloaded, it does create an Apollo folder that there's where it's going to get all the saves from. So we go ahead and hit OK. Go ahead and back out of there. And back out once more. And we can jump over to USB saves. And there's the save that we just downloaded. We go ahead and select it. And we can hit copy save game. And we'll select save it to the hard drive. Okay, so now that's done, we can go ahead and back out of there, back out of there, go ahead and close out of the Apollo save tool. Now, as long as the save is um, on a was, or the save was created on a previous version or even the current version you're on, then the save will work. So I'm on the latest version here that uh, we can use on 9.00, which is 2.13. So if you do download a save that requires a newer version of the game than you're currently using, you will get an error message something like this. You will need to get the latest update in order to use the save. So we can go ahead and just back out of there and we'll go ahead and launch the game. And it shouldn't take too long to load up a Ghost of Tsushima. It's not like GTA that takes forever.
Okay, so we'll just give it a few seconds here and we should be into the menu. Okay, it's just loading now. And we are in. So we do have our new game plus open as well. Um, so if we go into just load game, uh, we can say no to that just for now. We can see that the save game is actually there and everything was successful. So let's go ahead and just launch the game. We'll go with uh, continue. Just to show you that everything does come up and everything works. It will take a little bit to load in, but it shouldn't take too long. Okay, and we are loaded in. So you can see that we are there. Um, I'm not going to go through all the options, but it's something certainly that you can go ahead and check out. Um, but let's go ahead and jump on to the second method of re-signing our saves. Okay, so we'll go back into Echo Stretch. And we'll go ahead and launch our Apollo Save Tool. And we're going to go with Hard Drive Save. Go ahead and scroll down. We're going to use Minecraft for this here one. So we'll keep on going till we get down to about here. This is the US version here. We can go ahead and select it. Okay, and from here, we're just going to go ahead and hit Copy Save Game. And we're going to copy it to USB 0. Shouldn't take too long to copy. It does decrypt the file. So it will go over to your USB stick, stick decrypted. And it does go into the Apollo folder. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And back out of there, we can go ahead and close the application. Go ahead and log out of this user. And we'll go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. And we'll go into Stretch Echo. And just to show you, if we go into our settings, application save data manage, cap save data on system storage, uh, we can go ahead and hit delete. It doesn't matter. Um, as you can see, there is no Minecraft save. So we'll go ahead and back out of there. And we'll go ahead and launch our Apollo save tool. Give it a few moments here just to load up. Okay, and once we are in, we can go ahead and go to USB saves now. So we do have our Ghost of Tsushima, but here is the Minecraft one that we just copied. Go ahead and select it. And if we go down to copy save game, and we're going to copy it to the hard drive. Give it a few moments, and it should be pretty good. As you can see, it did uh, copy it, decrypt, or encrypt it, I should say. So it's good to go. Go ahead and just close out of Apollo save tools. And we can go ahead and select the proper Minecraft. Give it a few moments to load up. Okay, there we go. There's our progress bar. Okay, and we'll go ahead and turn off of this as we don't need it. Go ahead and select play and play offline. And there is our Minecraft world. We can go ahead and select it and give it a few moments here to load up just to show you that it does load with no issues. Okay, so it's building the terrain. Did pop a trophy for us. And it's automatic with this here because I do believe I have it set up with all that gear on. There may be other trophies to pop as well. But, uh, yeah, if you want to see the trophy world, you can check out one of my previous videos there. I do demonstrate the whole world. But, yeah, let's go and go ahead and close out of that. Um, and let's jump on to the third method. 
Okay, so now that we're over to the computer here, I do have the Minecraft European version saved that I created. We'll go ahead and just open up that folder. Go ahead and hit OK there. And you can see that we do have it right in here. And there's our save. So if we go ahead and just go to the back, and we go into our PS4 folder, and we'll go into our save data. Go ahead and just drag that over. Give it a few moments here just to get copied to the USB stick. And then we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and jump back over to our PS4 now that we have that copied to our drive. Okay, so now that we're over to our PS4, we go ahead and open up Apollo Tool. I went ahead and already plugged in my USB stick. Okay, we'll give it a few moments here just to get loaded up. And there we go. So once we are loaded in, if we go to USB saves, go ahead and select the encrypted one. As you can see, we do have our Minecraft and it is encrypted. So we'll go ahead and just select it. And we're gonna go to copy save game to hard drive. So the application will do everything for you. It will resign it and have it set up for you. So we'll go ahead and just choose yes. And there we go. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And we can close out of the application now. And if we go over to our Minecraft 265 version, which is the European, and go ahead and open it up. Give it a few moments here to load up again. Um, but yeah, that's the save should work and it should be there. This is a lot easier than using a uh, save mounter and using the computer. This does everything for you guys. Um, eventually there will be more games added to the uh, online database. But uh, yeah, if we're going to play and play offline, you can see that we do have our save right here. We can go ahead and select it. We'll take a few moments to load building terrain now okay and it's starting to load okay loading resources and it should pop us in any moment now Okay, maybe it's taking a little longer. There we go. Loading. And we are in with the same world, just different Minecraft. So you guys can see how easy it is to remount or resign these saves. Um, it does make it a lot easier. And you don't need Save Wizard. Um, you can download saves from anywheres and just go ahead and add them to your USB and then go ahead and resign them. So I'm going to leave the video at that. I hope you did like it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.